number one in the Ozarks. This is KY3 News at 10. And good evening to you. I'm Ethan Forehands. And I'm Lisa Rose. Although we've seen a lot of signs of this struggling economy lately, there's one business that's booming and is expected to stay that way for the rest of the year. KY3 Sarah Sheffield live tonight outside Loftus Jewelry and Pawn on Sunshine, where gun sales have been on the rise. Gun sales are doing very well across the country. They're up about 10 percent recently, but here at Loftus, they're up 43 percent so far this year compared to last. That's because people in the business say some fear that as Democrats move into power, access to buying guns might become limited. Oh. Dale Seiler runs Ozark Shooters. And he says with Election Day now behind us, it comes as no surprise that the gun business is doing well. Why should we let a politician take our guns away from us? And that's what he fears will happen now that Barack Obama has been elected president. Glenn Hirsch feels the same way. I know that um, Obama said that he wouldn't um, take away any of our gun rights, but that's, you know, remains to be seen. So he's buying one now, just in case. Obama has said that he believes in an individual's right to bear arms, that he also supports what he calls common sense safety measures. Some gun buyers are concerned about just what common sense safety measures really means. The last store I went in, uh, the uh, owner of the shop said, uh, is this uh, pre-Obama or post-Obama that you're wanting to buy this? So they're acting now. Gun sales are up because people are afraid that certain things they might not be able to get later on. Which Corey Loftus says was the case in 1994. He also saw a rush to buy guns then when President Bill Clinton pushed for a ban on certain semi-automatic rifles. Before I went in the Army, they were about $600. When I got out and that assault weapons ban happened, they went up to $1,500. Some also credit better sales to the troubled economy. We have more new people coming in buying guns because the economy, you know, when times get rough, people tend to, um, you know, want a gun because they're afraid that there's going to be more crime. And this is a paraphrase. Uh, Barack Obama recently quoted saying a lot of law abiding citizens use it for hunting, sportsmanship and for protecting their families. But we also have violence on the streets that is a result of illegal handgun use. So I think there's nothing wrong with the community saying we are going to take those illegal handguns off the streets. We can have reasonable, thoughtful gun control measures that I think will respect the Second Amendment and people's traditions. Of course, the issue has also stirred up a lot of comments on KY3.com. One viewer, Sandy, writes, yes, we are afraid to have our guns taken away. Possessing them is our right. If our forefathers could see this country now, they would be totally confused. So, Ethan, a lot of debate on both sides of this issue. We'll have to wait and see what actually happens. Viewers can go to KY3.com and weigh in for themselves if they are so interested. There are many unknowns at this point. Hey, on an unrelated note, looks a little windy out there. It's a little windy. I know the hair's in a ponytail. That normally doesn't happen on the air, but hey, it was either in my face or behind my head. Take your pick. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Sarah Sheffield, tonight. We're going to talk a little weather now, in yeah, fact. I'm anxious to find out about temperatures. It looks